everybody. My name is Durham. Hmm. Guess you didn't think a city could talk. That a city has troubles, and hopes, and dreams, and things to be proud of. Well, maybe there's a whole lot of things about a city that you hadn't thought of. I've been around here a long time. Seen a lot of changes in my day, and maybe I have a right to be proud. Proud of my thriving industries. Proud of my flourishing businesses. But most of all, I'm proud of my people. More than 70,000 people in my family. 70,000 busy people. Working, playing, laughing, and crying some. Living in one big family, dreaming dreams, and working together for a better city. Oh yes, folks. I have many things to be proud of. Just a whole lot of things. Fine hospitals. schools and colleges. Churches. And a lot of wonderful homes, beautiful homes. Yes, plenty of things to be proud of. of things to be concerned about. Children with limited opportunities. Children without homes or parents. People who are blind. Families that are at the point of breaking up. Children who have to play in the back alleys, which leads to juvenile delinquency and crime. But we are doing a lot to help. Here are 15 agencies serving people in need. Last year, more than 12,000 people benefited directly from these services. Some of them paid for what they received. Many others could pay only a part. But the community chest made up the rest. Maybe you'd like to go along with me and see some of the things these organizations are doing. The Association for the Blind. So many children like Bobby here don't get along in school because they can't see well. But just give these youngsters a chance with glasses properly fitted. What a difference it makes. And here's Marion, who lost his sight because of a brain tumor. But now, with the help of the Association for the Blind, she has learned to read all over again with her fingers. Helen Keller has said, there is no finer way to thank God for sight than to help those who walk in darkness. On my honor, I will try to do my duty to God and my country, to help other people at all times, to obey the Girl Scout laws. To help other people at all times. Do you see what I mean? We can't measure the value a girl gets from being a Girl Scout. This is the kind of thing I would like all our girls to have a chance at. But I'm ashamed that we've had to turn girls away. There simply wasn't enough money to train the leaders we need. 
We need to do everything we can for these girls of ours. A lot of families need help too. If mother would learn to manage and father would learn to be patient and considerate, a great many family breakups could be avoided. The family service is prepared to handle all such problems. Last year, 431 families were helped by this agency. The John Avery Boys Club has a splendid record. They have harnessed the energies of young, growing boys, and believe me, that's a lot of energy, and channeled them into programs of service like the cleanup campaigns and waste paper collections. I want you to see some of the pages out of my court records. In 1935, when the club was started, 157 cases of delinquency. In 1948, 21 cases. Yes, I know, unbelievable, but there it is. The Child Guidance Clinic is organized to help parents with children's problems and problem children. Here's a mother who comes to the office to tell about her problem child at home who is jealous of his little brother. He takes it out in all kinds of ways, even in the baby carriage and the bottle of milk. Expert help and advice is always available at the Child Guidance Clinic. Being in camp with the Boy Scouts does something for a boy. He learns a lot about getting along with his buddies, about being trustworthy, loyal, and obedient. He also learns a lot from the examples of his leaders. Yes, the Boy Scouts is recognized everywhere as an organization that builds good future citizens. Now let's look at the Tubman branch of the YWCA. They have a lot of activity over here. Meetings, parties, and sings like this one. But this is only a part of the program. Since the building is small, staff members and helpers carry the program right into the homes. But let's have the girl on the poster tell us more about the YWCA. The YWCA is more than a building. It's a fellowship of women and girls, a sharing of oneself, a belief that life can be made good for all people. It's an experience of working together that leads to something greater than oneself. Your YWCA belongs to the women and girls of your community. The staff at the YW is made up of leaders who care about human beings and what happens to them. Programs are planned to meet human needs, whatever they may be, a religious service, or it may be a party. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy... It might be a religious service, or it might be a party. I guess you know this building. The YMCA is a very popular place. All kinds of activities are going on the year round. What a lot of wonderful times they have here in this game room. Oops, fella, better try it again. And in the summertime, nothing means more to a boy than to have a good place to swim. But he gets a lot more than that out of the YM camp. There are religious programs and plenty of opportunities for other character building activities.
you ever thought how important it is to have a nursery school a place where children are kept off the streets while their mothers work a lot of our mothers have to work you know in order to keep their families together so over at the durham nursery along about six thirty in the morning forty five or fifty children who are too young to go to school are brought in for the day and for every child that is brought in a mother is made happy her mind is relieved to know that her child is safe off the streets and she knows that it will have a well-planned program all through the day. Many of our Negro mothers also are left to support their families. And when you have several children to take care of, earning a living is a mighty big problem. But if the mother can get the young ones into the Scarborough nursery, it makes all the difference in the world. She knows that there they will have many children to play with. And more than that, they will learn habits of cleanliness and good health. They will also receive a balanced diet and have plenty of time for rest. Everybody knows about the Salvation Army street services, but I wonder if you know about all the other things the Salvation Army does. A great many things we never hear about. It may be giving a hand or a guy down on his luck, a square meal, a place to sleep, and maybe some words of encouragement to speed him on his way. Or it may be helping a girl in trouble. It is in this true Christian spirit of kindliness and understanding that the Salvation Army provides a home where girls can go. Over at the Wright Refuge is another place where needy babies and children are helped to get a healthy start in life. You will find children over there with no homes and no place to go. They are neglected and dependent and somebody must take care of them. The days are carefully planned. Everybody is kept busy. And when bedtime comes, they are all ready for it. Well, now you've seen some of the things that are being done about our problems. But we're not doing enough. It's our Christian and moral responsibility as good citizens to do more. The question is, how much should you give? Well, nobody but you and your conscience can answer that question for you. Let's look at it this way. If each of these agencies had its own campaign and came to you separately, you'd give something. Would you give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars? Add it all together, and then give once. Give enough for 15 campaigns in one. You can pay a little now, the balance later. You can pay quarterly, or best of all, if your company has a payroll deduction plan, be sure to take advantage of it. For in that way, your money and your help will make Durham a better place to live in, especially for our citizens of tomorrow. <laughs> 